it's time now to meet our national treasure. So, again, regular viewers will know that what we do is we like to highlight just an ordinary man or woman, really, every single week, who we think really deserves a bit of praise, who's the best of British, right? So, not your, not your usual ones, you know, these people, people that, you know, I know a lollipop lady who's not taken a day off in 50 years, this kind of stuff. But anyway, this is a really special one. So, this week, we're paying tribute to the two people who run the greatest, get this, Bed and breakfast in the world. That's right. James and Angela Rusden uh, own Toulson Court in Scarborough, sunny Scarborough. That's right. And they came out on top in the best of the best awards for hotels for the second year in a row. And I'm delighted to say that James and Angela join me right now. Hey, we always clap you in. Let's do it. Well done. You are the national treasure. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. So, what's so good about your BB? <laughs> It's down to the service we give and what Scarborough has to offer. Lovely Scarbados weather, <laughs> just like being in the Caribbean. Um, and it's the service that we offer and what we offer. We are just, we do say we are just an ordinary everyday B&B in Scarborough, £85 a night, bed and breakfast. And you've got us as hosting, trying to make the best of your holiday, give you everything that you want. I mean, this is amazing. So you must be absolutely over the moon. And what an absolute treat it is, the fact that we are lucky enough in Scarborough, in this fair aisle that we call home, to have the best B&B in the world. I mean, how do you guys feel about that? Absolutely blown away. You know, it, we are just a, a normal house on a normal street and just two normal people that love what we do, uh, get up every morning, cook breakfast, sing songs, have a laugh and just make the most of life, really. Oh, you know what? It's, uh, this is actually a really heartwarming story. I really kind of want to come and come and stay. Actually, can I ask what's on your breakfast menu? Go on, Angela. You tell me. I was going to say, if you're going to come and stay, bring Bobby Davro with you. <laughs> bring Bobby Davro. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, what about, what about... I mean, I've got Andre Walker here as well. You know, I mean, it's... <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I'm sure Bobby, Bobby Davro will be, be up there. You're touring in Scarborough anytime soon, Bobby. I used to do lots of summer seasons up in Scarborough. I don't know if you ever came <laughs> to see me. Did you guys? I used to come up there and I'd stayed in a few bed and breakfasts over the years. Stayed in one once, it was a bit small. I put the key in the door and broke the window. But, you know, they're, cause they're, <laughs> but if you get a good breakfast, and uh, that's the most important thing, and the bed, you've got to have nice oh, come beds. On, come, on, come on, Bobby, go to Scarborough for this charity. Mm. Right. Oh, we'll, oh, sell, we go. we'll sell 20, 20 quid a ticket. That's to not come. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Just want to get, want to get back, to, back to you guys. Now, look, it's actually hard work. I mean, look, I wouldn't know. I've never done it, but it looks like hard work running a B&B. &B. You've got to be up early doors. You've got to look after people. The customer's always right, of course, even when they're not. But you guys seem to absolutely love it, James. Yeah, we do, and that's it. We love what we do, and we love the people. They're like family after they've been a few times. And just on a footnote, you're going on about mental health week. I had a mental breakdown because I've got two brain aneurysms, and I've picked myself up in this business um, through song. I sing, and that's brought me out of my black past, really, moving forward and enjoying myself and enjoying life and making everybody happy. And that's what we're about. When people come, we want them to be happy and enjoy what we have to offer and go out what Scarborough has to offer. Well, you know, if you don't mind, James, could you give us a bit of a tune? <laughs> um. You don't have to. I don't want to put you under pressure, but, I mean, it'd be... I'll give you, I'll give you the key. <laughs> do, you, do you carry round a F. harmonica? I, I happen to have one in my pocket, yeah. F, any F in key. <laughs> yeah, 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 good lad. I've never eaten magic mushrooms. <laughs> right, lads, rain in. if you go to their bed and breakfast. Rain in, rain in. OK, um, shame, sorry, I didn't know what you said that. We're not, we're not getting a tune out of you, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'd want to. <laughs> That's all right, mate. No, but can I just say, though, James and Angela, it looks to me anyway, it seems to me as though you two are just like the perfect couple, really. You look really happy together. You look really great together. You clearly love what you do. You work together as well. And you just you can just see it shining out of you both. And it's an absolute pleasure to see that. And congratulations, guys, all right? You are this week's yeah. national treasure. Well done. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. Gig up there, I'll come and stay there. There you see it. Bobby Davros said if he does do a gig there, he'll come and stay with you. So there we go. We just need to organise it now. So uh, good lads.